Mustaches were the story in the clubhouse and the stands at Yankee Stadium yesterday as 20,000 fans sported fake mustaches in support of Jason Giambi's all-star hopes. Nothing could make the American Mustache Institute happier. You see, just days ago, it issued a statement endorsing Giambi for the final spot on the all-star team for the AL side based solely on his furry upper lip. With just hours left to vote, 5 Eastern time, the polls close, we welcome in Aaron Perlett, executive director of the American Mustache Institute, to make one final plea for Giambi. And Aaron, first I have to say, very nice stash on your part as well. Thank you very much, and you are welcome to call me doctor, actually. Uh, a doctor of what? Doctor of nuclear mustachology. Nuclear mustache, I can't even say it, Aaron. I'll just call you doctor there. Uh, give us some idea because Giambi's competition, Evan Longoria, he's got a beard going, and I think Jermaine Dye even has a goatee. What exactly is so special, though, about Giambi's mustache? Well, you know, first of all, the mustache in is indicative of power and superiority, but also as compared to Jermaine Dye and Evan Longoria, we call, we refer to the beards and the mustaches as a spousal compromise because. It is, of course, the, the halfway meeting point, the, the compromise you make for your spouse in between the mustache and the clean-shaven look. So we find that uh, entirely unacceptable. Because they basically couldn't stand up enough to grow the stash, is what you're saying. Exactly. It's an indicator of uh, greater weakness. Oh, ouch. Well, the stats are hard to dispute because if you take a look at Giambi's numbers, really since everybody's noticed that the mustache was growing and coming in well, he's played very well. How much credit do you give that strong mustache for his play? Well, uh, you know, I would certainly give it at least 75% of the credit. Uh, our studies have shown that, you know, a mustache can increase manlyhood by 68%. <laughs> um, and usually that's in the seasons between fall, winter, and spring. But in this case, we're seeing it elongate into the summer. Well, apparently, and you know, he had the gold thong going too, so you had to sort of counterbalance, I guess, the gold thong with the power of that manly mustache. Yeah, and while I've done some consulting on that issue, I really can't speak to the gold thong <laughs> issue. We'll get the, the president of the Gold Thong Association on an, another time. Um, give us some idea. Giambi having this mustache, and the Yankees are known for the clean shaven, their strict facial hair policies. So what is the significance of Jason having this mustache, wearing pinstripes, and being so well known for it right now? Well, I think with the mustache in general, there's some historical perspective here in that you know, in the 1970s, there were three pervasive fashion statements. There were the, the uh, turtleneck, the perm, and the mustache. We call that the triple threat. At the end of the 1970s, really, you saw all three go away, and the mustache became extinct, much, much like the uh, mustached anchorman and yes. the Chinese panda. Um, you know, the American Mustache Institute has been fighting. We're an advocacy organization, a think tank on mustache issues. And we've been working to bring the mustache back into popular culture. And I think we see Jason as that cult hero that can really help usher the mustache back into the prominence it so much deserves. I I'm going to go better the mustache than the perm because you gave us a look that I don't think anybody should ever have to um, go with again. And I'm going to lose it in a moment. So um, where's mustache rank on the all-time Giambis on the all-time list of great sports mustaches? Well, uh, I certainly think that I think what Jason is doing being a trailblazer would put him in the top 10. You know, there's some great sports mustaches like Al Raboski, the former reliever for the Cardinals and the Royals, uh, Hulk Hogan, uh, some great NASCAR mustaches. There was a tr tremendous history between NASCAR and mustaches back in the 70s and 60s. So certainly it'd have to be in the top 10.